And 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 Nick he he followed up here and and said that they were they um were looking at uh, at fifty uh, Fahrenheit. Fifty Fahrenheit for the source. Yeah. Okay. So fifty Fahrenheit. That's going to be yeah. Um, it depends on the differential and the flow associated with it. Uh, but with fifty, you're probably coming out about uh, yeah, uh, uh, thirty-eight to forty on the evaporator. Uh, so it's coming in at fifty uh, degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which is uh, what about eleven degrees Celsius. Yeah, so that's on the lower temperature source water side. Uh, give me, yeah, so it's more similar to this example. So you're probably coming out around two. And so 55 to 65 with 10 and two, and I'm jumping ahead again. But the system architecture that we would use for that is probably something like this with a parallel series arrangement. Uh, and you'll use that parallel because of that lower source water temperature. And then series, and then potentially cascade series, which is another evolution of that architecture, uh, depending on the supply water temperature uh, that you're providing. Wh what did he say on the supply water temperature? Forward heat? Uh, no, no. Uh, he, he only said mentioned that the the source temperature um, on uh, fifty. Uh, oh, 50 he no. 50 he Fahrenheit. did. He did. He mentioned uh, seventy degrees Celsius on the supply water, right? Oh, yeah. I think. Uh, yeah. Let me just double check. Yeah, seven, seven. Uh, yeah, seven degree, seventy uh, degrees C. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So that architecture, and it was Nick. Uh, Nick, your architecture would probably look something like this with the cascades uh, parallel and then series and series cascade arrangement. 